caught it right at the end of the song. That works for me. All right, I haven't had time to uh, make the Battlescape statistics bigger. So, they're the same. And I should turn them on. <laughs> I always forget to do that. Turn on. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. How's everyone doing today? Happy Tuesday. I am flying single parent for the next couple days. So there will be no stream tomorrow, but there will be one on Thursday. And I think we'll do... Uh, I'm trying out the new Twitch events, so we'll try Darkest Dungeon on Thursday. See how I uh, deal with that. Good to hear, Paradox. All right. So we finished off with a zombie mission. Yes, zombies. Uh, we need more ammo in the bases, so we'll go ahead and once you get home, we'll upgrade our defaults. Someone remind me. Uh, put more ammo on the craft. We'll do five clips per weapon. Per person. <laughs> five clips per weapon, I think, should work. A Scorpion SMG. Ah, oh, no. Incendiary ammo. This classic Czechoslovakian SMG is light and comfortable to carry, but it has unimpressive stopping power and poor autofire accuracy. It is concealable, though. Which... It is our first SMG. Congratulations, everyone. We got one. Yeah. Alright. 20 damage, though. I feel like... Ah, oh, do I really want 20 damage? <laughs> All right, we are a second tier of research, so let's go ahead and uh, let's. Oh, do I want a vest? I think let's start on the vest. Audio delay. Hold on, I can test this. All right, you're gonna hear me twice. Deal with it. Audio delay. Alright, you're gonna hear me twice. Deal with it. Audio delay. Alright, you're gonna hear me twice. Yeah, it looks like the camera is a bit off. But I'm not seeing it here. Audio delay. Is it in the actual game? Yeah, it looks like the camera is a bit off. We'll do one I'm more. Seeing it here. What would cause that out of the blue? Is it in the actual game? Yeah, it looks like the camera is a bit off. We'll do one more. What would cause that out of the blue? Is it in the actual game? No, it's just it's just the camera is off. The camera no, can be weird. It's just the camera is off. Hey, Nophius, how's it going? Well, let me reset the camera. All right, let's try this. It isn't looking delayed on my end. It's a little teeny, teeny camera delay. Let's turn off the custom frame rate. All right, that might be better. There we go. I think you're all backwards, Rubicon. <laughs> I think it's all you. All right. Uh, let's do one more look at the buttons real quick. Right. Do one more. All right, game is good. There we go. I think we're good. No, um, thank you for telling me that. Because uh, when nothing changes on my end and the game stops working, it always <laughs> always makes me feel weird. And hello. Hello, everyone that came in. Well, <laughs> we are troubleshooting. All right, basic operations. I have assembled the finest operations team. I'm sure you'll find them useful, Commander. Please check your reports. I think they already have some groundbreaking ideas. Cover surfers and XCOM dogs. <laughs> All right, let's get through the old research first. So do we have more Euphopedia articles? Ooh, 
A leather coat, we saw that. A polar suit. This outfit is perfect for blending in with ski enthusiasts. <laughs> okay. We don't have cold missions, do we? Sweet. Polar suit. I assume those are for specific missions. Sporting rifle. This light weapon has good mid-range accuracy and excels at hunting small game. This is what I really needed for that Voxstar mission. I might throw a couple of those in the craft. Base facilities. Enemies. Re reports. Cover sportsmen. It is sometimes crucial to infiltrate a country quietly to pro avoid diplomatic incident. XCOM agents can pose as sportsmen going for a training camp. This will, however, restrict their equipment to items that are appropriate for their cover. It will also allow XCOM to buy and use sporting rifles on missions. <laughs> Alright, uh, so that's a cover. Anything that was reports, technology. Get those. Alright. Sweet. So let's purchase some of those in case we need them. And also, we now have a long-range weapon, everyone. We finally made it. If I could just find it. Scorpion sporting rifle. Why not? <laughs> we are... We are... Uh, what's the... Is it the decathlon that has the shooting in there? Do we want a Scorpion SMG? Probably not. 45% accuracy. Yeah, it's just really horrid. Shotgun rounds. <laughs> I'll take them. I, You know what? I'm not even going to complain. I will take those and be happy. Anything else we need? All right, let's spend uh, half our money on that crap. And I think we have agents coming in, too. What, getting the uh, alien stuff from the sectoids? <laughs> to the Hilton. Non-standard weapons. With all the paperwork done, and it really was a lot, we have finally secured a supplier of weapons that were previously deemed unnecessary for operations. Nothing out of depth, really. Just some additional models that would match some of our men better than what we have. Like those really big Magnum revolvers. Excellent. Or maybe shotguns when we grow bigger. If you need any, just order them as normal. All right. Agricultural. Ooh, nice. Magnum, shotgun, and Uzi. I think we already have an Uzi. I'm going to throw two on the Magnum right now, and then with the one spare, we will work on... Uh, might as well get these researched. Knife. Blade favors quick slashes over powerful thrusts. Power bonus reaction times 0 0.2 plus melee times 0 0.1. That's actually a rather nice power bonus for reactions. Good to know. We don't need to buy any of those, though. Okay. Okay. Can you make it there today? I'm not sure. <laughs> Lots of arguing. All right. Uh, located members of an illegal organiza organization called Black Lotus. Let's go with our defaults. Where are my fun shotguns? You are nice and light. Make sure you have something to stun with. Do you have a shotgun? You guys have them. Okay. Let's wait 10. They weigh 15. Man, those are heavy. Grab some stems.
melee 69. You're approaching the point where that would be better, but we'll keep not you. Melee 34. I think I should give sabers to these people. I know, I know. I don't like having that on all the time, though. Let's give you one of these for close range. And then if we really need the skill melee, I don't think they offer any skill bonuses. Actually, it's a much better base. All right. You know, you got to focus on what you got to focus on things. So things will slip through the cracks. All right. Right off the bat, we have a researcher <laughs> right over there. Oh, well, he's looking right at us. Throwing knives. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Uh, do one aimed and one snap. Drop that for a second. You are not helping whatsoever. I think he blew his load though. Alright, there. Just run. Run. There we go. And you... Hmm, you seem like really hot on that trigger. Hey, sir, die a lot. You have not... I don't think you are in yet. Either of machetes. We got we got throwing knives, so I think that covers it for us, which means we have a way to throw train throwing accuracy. And also throwing knives are my favorite weapon. Alright, we got a wound. I guess we are just using the van as cover today, everyone. Alright, let's swap you out for a pistol. as is uh, normal recently. Use any cover we can. These are nice and cheap to use. Uh, not gonna hit, not gonna hit. All right. Van it is. Good thing that house was not occupied. Man, what I would not do for a little grenade to throw right over there, you know? Drop that. Happy. Happy Hippie Hippo is the team killer, isn't he? Uh, I'm very tempted, but I think we're going to hold off on moving forward just yet on that side. We'll swing around this way. I don't think it's flammable like the, uh, the Pirates fans. Alright, Black Lotus follower, you are going to be the one we capture. <laughs> Excuse me. I want them to come closer to the van. There we go. You guys are doing great with your reaction fire. Whew, made it across the street. 
<laughs> hey, Trower, how's it going? Yeah, so unfortunately, the VODs from the last stream release at the exact same time I start this one. It does not work if you try to do YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. Alright, let's grab... Oh, your pistol? Yes! Aww. <laughs> Not as chain reaction as I remember. Go ahead and hmm. Oh, that's fine. You can say it right there. Can I make that? I can. I'll run for the hills. And he's not looking. Excellent. Uh, it's a 24-hour roll, whoa. I know I could release him 23 hours earlier. And I know a lot of uh, affiliates don't follow that rule. But I'm just going to stick to it. Really, there is where you're going to stop? Right there. <laughs> of all the places, you can stop. All right, fine. You do your thing. Head peek. <coughs> Hide behind the soda. Oh, hey, excellent. Passed out. All right, this guy, I sort of want him to come outside. Uh, do you have... All right, we can, we can just have a melee fight since it's all stun weapons. I, I ordered some soldiers at the end of last stream, I think. Possibly. I don't remember. And I don't know where you are in the list. It's all the order that you signed up in. Actually, you can't. Oh, whatever. It's already in there. As it's cheap. It's only 10 uh, AP, 10 TU to put it in your backpack. I'm good with that. Yeah, of course he won't come out. But again, it's only stun damage. So uh, three to one odds. He's not going to kill us. Or at least come out ahead in this engagement. Oh, you don't have any stun weapons. All right, we'll leave you behind. Maybe Dana Alende can make it over. On fire, it will grab a handle for you. Are they even called handles? No, they're called wooden clubs <laughs> in this one. And I don't think we could die from overstun from an electric mace. Or oh, whatever they're called, electric baton. Oh, is he third floor or third floor? <laughs> Diablo 1. Were there clubs like that in Diablo 1? We need to get our energy up. Hey, friend. You got a big M. You can use... You gotta hit him to level up that melee. There we go. Good gains. Ah, plus five strength is excellent. 
and a little teeny melee for Blackburn. We got throwing knives and a tanfa. I'm happy with all of that. We don't need knives, right? Uh, research. We just researched the knife. And the shiv. Haven't researched yet. Those are worth some money. And we can sell those. Yes. Excellent. Congratulations, Blackburn. You earned that one. I don't recall any clubs like that from Diablo. I could be wrong, though. All right, you're back in the base, so let's go ahead and update our equipment. Now, we don't need the pistol for long, <laughs> for long range combat. <laughs> All right, there's still five, though, for each one. Just in case, we have the machetes. Can't wait to research those. Knife versus machete. We need better stats to use that well. Sporting rifle. All right, now we have them if we just need to plink away at enemies. Literally plink them. Let's save that for our default right now. Two, three, four. All right, Payne, Owen, Aziz, and Miranda are in this one. Yeah, leather coats to spare. All right, we got five more case officers. I open on the Excel sheet up. <laughs> All right, next we have... Agent Tribal Simbri, that should just fit. And a coat. Oops. The Swede, which is Arthur. Arthur, sorry. One second. Hold on. Do we even have the Swiss flag up here? I don't remember seeing it. That's close. <laughs> Can we use Norway instead? Or is that, I never, I do not know my Nordic countries. Is that Finland? All right, that's as close as we're gonna get. It's basically the same thing, right? <laughs> the Swede. Where? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm thinking Switzerland. That's right, the flag of Ikea. <laughs> yeah, Ikean flag. All right. Let's see who else is next in line. Oh, it's Agent Yuri is next. And he has a face. Agent Yuri. <laughs> Must go quickly now. Agent Yuri. And I wasn't sure what to go with. I think for Yuri, the best one is probably going to be uh, Yosef, most likely. 
All right, let me mark that off. Where did it go? Oh, come on. I just lost it. Next up, we have... Oh, perfect. You're here, so you get it. Agent Dialot. And you want it Franco, and you want it Face. Jose, Franco, or Max. So we'll go Jose, because it's first. Oh, I see Franco first. That works for me. Do 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 we have Austria? I don't think we do. No, we do not. It would be something close. Close enough. <laughs> People love when you do that, right? We can add more flags if you guys are interested. It shouldn't be too hard. All right, a dialot is there. And then we'll do one more. Since he was here yesterday, we'll do chot like. We fit chot like blacklisted. And he wants Tony and Norway. Oops. Do, 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 do. Norway is the red and white one, right? Yeah, blue, white, and red. I don't think we have Norway either. No, we do. All right, there we go. Updated. And I will move you up to the top. As soon as Van 2 gets back. <laughs> Magnum acquisition. 38 damage. That's like twice as good as anything we have. This Precision Magnum's mule-like kick is nothing compared to the force it delivers on the business end. Fires 44 caliber rounds and rubberized six slot speed loader cartridges, each literally worth their weight in gold. Don't call it a sidearm. Uh, aim shot, range cap of 16. I still think that is good. All right. Now right, we had two of that. We still need to go and uh, work on you. And let's get the corpses out of the way. So if I get these, can I get rid of the uh, Berettas? I'm thinking yes. <laughs> Maybe uh, we'll see if the RNG works to maintain that. All right, we're going to leave the Bredas on there for now and just throw these on the craft. All right, so now we have a whole, whole bunch more options. And nothing is happening. Oops, which one are you? Two. Shot like a dialogue, Yuri and the Swede are on that one. Alright, we need more Magnum drums. Did I only buy? I guess I did. Alright, buy some more Magnum drums. And we are broke. <laughs> Now kiss. All 
All right, so now we are just sitting here and waiting. There we go. Hey, Ethan, how's it going? All right, those shotguns? All right, I'll do those. Mega Scorpion Corpse. This creature is exactly what it appears to be, an unusually large scorpion. It has the same body plan, internal organs, and overall genetics. The only remarkable thing, apart from size, is the complexity and volume of its brain. The body chemistry is somewhat bizarre, and we should assume it's to compensate for the unremarkable efficiency of the simple respiratory system. I don't know if compensate is the right word for that. Let's get that shotgun on there. <laughs> Luckily, all shots are lethal in XCOM. Let us start with the basics. Uh, before making any substantial discoveries, we must squeeze what we can from available sources. After all, we are not paid to reinvent the wheel. Our aim should be to contact the right people and either request or buy what we need to make what we don't have. For starters, I would like to suggest getting acquainted with someone who deals with experimental stem cell therapies, since I believe this technology is something that can save the lives of our agents. I can look into that if you give me some time. I do, however, have access to a range of non-conventional specifics, <laughs> non-conventional specifics, which can potentially enhance our agents' fighting capabilities. It takes much time and training, but our agents will gradually rise above ordinary men. You want to know where I got it from? I assure you, soon you will stop being surprised by such trivialities. Advanced medicine and trauma pack. All right. Let's throw... I guess I just finished shotgun right away. Let's throw you on here, and we have almost done with this tier of research. Shotgun acquisition. I'm out of money. Oh, but that is some nice accuracy, isn't it? A clutch acquisition. Let's go ahead and read that. All right, we got that up there. Okay, so. We could probably sell some extras. I haven't researched that yet. That's, oh, two savers. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to use those. I can't do anything with that. Let's sell the pump actions. And don't sell the corpses, even though, man, 120 grand is a lot of money. <laughs> All right, let's uh, read the shotgun, a powerful and accurate closed combat weapon with optional buckshot ammo. However, the magazine only holds six shells. So we lose two, two shots. It has the same damage as a small shotgun, but I assume a much better spread pattern. Otherwise, it uh, has the, the slug ammunition. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> we'll buy two. <laughs> two shotguns. Uh, a couple more shells. Those are cheap. And some slugs. All right, equipment. Give me one real shotgun for each for the time being. Strange life form. Oh, and it's close by. All right, we're just going to wait on that one. No reason to do that at night. Van one. All right, people went missing. I can start looking at stats. Oh, they're all the same. Doesn't really matter. All right. Magnum people will still get a backup shotgun, I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. It is a magnum after all.
people with the absolute worst firing accuracy gets to have uh, the hunting rifle. <laughs> it looks like, I know it says 22, but it's like we're shooting quarters at them. Eight rounds. All right, we probably don't need more than two. You can get a pocket shotgun. Just call this rifle. Do I give the real shotguns pocket shotguns as well? One, two. No, I think I just give them slugs. And you got in there. Let's. No, we'll keep you with those and we'll swap out if we need it. Uh, why am on the legs? Meh, but it's where, I, it's where I put ammo. I know it's better in the shoulders, but I always put things I throw in the shoulders. Alright, 56. Well, we got one of each of the new things, so let's do another pistol. Because I love me some magnums. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, I don't think we are going... Well, let's see how they do, shall we? Oh, they have guns. Well, I'll just kill one. <laughs> That's a big old nope. No, sir. I doubt you'll be able to hit this guy. Uh, let's get some firing accuracy while we're here. <laughs> we're not going to stay. Don't you guys fret. No light of fire. Oh, maybe we do this. Hold on. <laughs> oh, sorry, there's a civilian. Why couldn't I see you until I ducked? <laughs> he turned to look at me. That's terrifying. No? Oh, well. We can at least do this. Oh, we can't, because you don't have any med kits on you. Oh, those are really good shots. It's alright, though. We'll get some training out of this. Alright. Sorry, civilian. That's not going to happen. <laughs> We're fine. Hey, look at that! Run away and miss out of that plus 10 strength. Alright. I need some coffee. Crop circles detected. Also close by. Excellent. Alright, that's fan 2. Let's look at my training. I will let you guys go out again, but we'll throw a tribal on there. <laughs> Alright, we are responding to a report of strange, irregular patterns found in a field. We must approach the locals and squeeze them for information before they are captured by someone else. Do what you can to save their lives, even though we don't expect them to be very receptive. If capturing them alive is impossible, do what you must. You only have 10 turns to complete the mission. If you fail to complete it on time, every stranded age... Oh, come on. Uh, I hate these missions. Alright. Firing. Most accurate is a pistol. Least accurate is a rifle. Followed by... A shotgun. Yeah, no. You get a shotgun. You get a shotgun. And... Man, you are really weak. Really freaking weak. I know he said we need to save him alive, but it's not gonna happen, guys. How about this? Can that make you happy? I don't want two rifles, actually. That works. <laughs> I 
Can yeah, can I just shoot them in the leg and disable them and just drag them back to base? How about that? Let's uh, do this. We'll go a double pistol for you. Oh, sweet. You'll be easy to capture. Underwater music. I guess it's creepy. I'm good with this. Do I have enough for a snap? There you go, chat like. Nope. <laughs> Not gonna happen. All right, and there is our crop circle. 10 turns. Man, I hate timed missions. I still stand by my statement as that I feel like they are not XCOM. But we will live with them. You run out of energy to try and keep up with this guy. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I don't have that 10k to spend on them. Alright, also unarmed. Oh, we're gonna go in that way. Also unarmed. Alright, that works for me. We'll move quickly. Keep an eye on him. <laughs> I need me some altar boys. Altar boys give me strength. All right, the best place to stand for you would be right here. Oh, boo! Excellent. I had that problem playing Eve Online. <laughs> Nowhere to put all the corpses I gathered. I had a hanger full of them. Alright, don't fire that. They're unarmed. I assume they do since it's a reaction based. No, oh, really? to do oh it's energy i need some grog or like you know like a snickers bar in this universe there we go 171 points that's more money than i've gotten or more points than I've gotten in the entire rest of my campaign. And alien fuel trace times three. Oh, nice. Another plus six roll. All right. <laughs> Zombie. These infected humans have been completely overtaken by an alien parasite. They possess little cognitive capabilities and show no higher brain functions. In fact, their brains are mostly consumed by the parasite. They have poor motor skills and reactions to stimuli, but are completely immune to pain. The zombies are incapable of using tools unless directly handed an object, which they will then use as a clubbing instrument. <laughs> From Dawn of the Dead. Even though zombies retain their original bodies, they can no longer be considered human and have a very short lifespan due to their deteriorated metabolism. We keep them in cages rather than prison cells. Alright, what do we have left? One red dog. Red dog ganger. Alright, so... Prison cells... Three abducted farmers. Zombie... Muckstar, do we have more zombie research? No. Can I... 
I, do I keep him or do I sell him? I have not watched either of those. Pharaoh Islands. All right. Uh, or which one are we on? Are we on Craft 2? I think so. Uh, let me check. Yeah, Craft 2. Oh, you're not home yet. That's why. Are you not home yet? <laughs> Craft one, whatever. Just go. Oh, end of the month anyway, so we have some cash. 180,000. Which is basically... Alright, we did really well. Our income is basically our balance. We don't have any uh, funding bonus. Giant Beetle Corpse gives us this creature as far bigger than is theoretically possible on Earth. And protected by a tough carapace that can stop pistol rounds and even grenade blasts. All right. Well, let's do a new tier. Uh, we will start with... Hmm. Let's start with... Let's see if those are any good. Yeah, I mean, it's bound to happen. That's all right. We'll live with it. Cat emulation reported real close as well. It's, oh, that doesn't sound good whatsoever. We're going to do the cat emulation first. Then we'll cycle the troops once we get home. If that's still there, then we'll go for it. All right. What does a Muckstar give me? Muckster. And the Galapagos Islands. Excellent. Van number two, you can go right over there. And you as well. Alright, Cult Apprehension is Church of Dagon. Alright, you've got that. Oh, this is this team. All right, Agent Tribal, uh, you 46. You are impressively bad. Impressively. All right. I think I have a couple followers of Dagon or Dagon. I'm gonna go with Dagon. I should totally have something in my offhand, shouldn't I? A wasting potential right there. And you, for now. Ooh, is that a crossbow? Oh, that hurt. Oh no, not disease. Let's look inside here real quick. No, oh, darn it. <laughs> All right. Let me get you someplace where I can heal you. You won't get into trouble. How about you stand here? I can't even heal you, anyways. You stand here. <laughs> you will survive two more turns.
Oh well, we will at least stop you from dying. You will pass out though. Although staying on the ground might be in your best interest. Alrighty then. Ah, yeah, definitely a crossbow. That's a nice shot. He was over here. Okay. Oh, that's a nice damage number. No roof access here. If you don't pass out, I'll be very surprised. I think we're getting stun damage. see anything up there unfortunately and he hasn't come outside yet right, he's just hanging out there isn't he sorry tribal I need you to go inside that building Luckily, that wasn't a bad place to end the turn. And you see him. Take care of that guy first. Alright, I'm gonna have to worry about stun death with Aziz. Hopefully, we'll get this over with fast enough. Well, that was a disappointment. I know, I know, I know. I have stems. Shoot at me. 
if I do this, I can't go back into cover. Unfortunately. Oh, she can give me negative, negative stun. <laughs> Which death scream is that? Right. They just camp in their rooms. Never liked this map for Ratman missions, and I still don't like it now. Thirteen. Alright. Two snaps. The best I'm gonna get with you. Perfect. Alright. Hit this guy. Oh, come on. Do I have a minimum snap range? No, I don't. Oh, now they're walking around. to sit here and uh, just keep yourself alive. How about that? <laughs> this building. Alright. Now that door has opened up. I don't think there's a... Uh... Let me do one more turn, Aziz, without you passing out. Thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Oh, well that is a good place to stand. Well, luckily it's my shotgun. And he blew a hole in the fence. Ah, humbug. Aziz, I got something for you to do. You got a pocket shotgun, which I'm going to throw in your hand right now. Nope. Excellent. You got a real shotgun. Run all the way around. Oh no, he disappeared. To where? <laughs> where is he gone? All right, mystery. Not in the door, and I can't sneak in there.
<laughs> no kidding. No freaking kidding. Seriously, where is he? He must have gone that way. There's nowhere else to go. And to do so leaves him exposed. Yep, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. As soon as I went down that hallway, I knew that was going to happen. Hello there, buddy. There we go. TLGDH. That is right. I am not keeping you alive. Oh man. That alien cheat mode. Why are you all broken today? Turn you back on. Alright, let's try this again. Don't break. Otherwise, plus four accuracy is nice. A little strength. Now well, Tribal is out on his first mission. All right, and this is a cattle mutilation. Some cows are mutilated by unknown individuals in a manner that is often attributed to aliens. We should capture the locals and interrogate them. Especially if they are hostile. If capturing them alive is impossible, do what you must. Another 10 turn mission. My least favorite. All right, it's this team again. Uh, we can go ahead and... Am I short? Who is my other stun pistol? You do. You know what? That'll be fine. Yeah, that works for me. Got a farmer on the roof and a farmer in the dell. What is my range on this? Not enough to shoot someone on the roof, that's for sure. Maybe, actually. Uh, I doubt I get a firing angle on that one. Uh, maybe I do. No, I do not. Didn't think so. <laughs> He's definitely not scared of me. Uh, at least they're unarmed. And at least I know where two of them are. Hmm, lovely. Oh, there's three. Maybe. There you are. Did you, did you miss? You missed. <laughs> Alright, you ran. So let's get you. Miss, miss, miss. You can go to the second floor. Hey there, buddy. Uh, don't shoot him, chat like. I mean, you do no harm. <laughs> it's not like Blackjack. We'll just name your name to Blackjack. There you go. Taken care of. 
We'll get our melee trained up eventually. Agent Erie reduced to using wooden clubs. Which one was which? Oh. We went that way. Hey yo. Excellent. All right, those are our points for the month. A little melee. Oh man, no melee. Oh, now we got six farmers. Strange life form. I don't like the Arctic life forms. Public van two. Two, three, four. Armor. Coat, 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 coat. Do we have more than one? We did. Cult apprehension in the Galapagos. <laughs> that that is one hardcore cult right there, and that might be a nighttime one. And then trouble in ski resort. All right, I want to see this actually. Do I have to buy the suits, or it just yeah? All right, and we can only use incognito weapons, right? Is that how that works? Concealable weapons. Right, that works. Make sure what I bring. I'm sure we'll have enough. We have Berettas on there, right? Those are concealable. Magnums are concealable. Small shotguns are concealable. Alright, we'll be fine. Oh, it's a sword option? Alright, let us get back to base eventually. All sporting gear. <laughs> Saber, if you say so. All right, throwing knives and a, oh, crossbow. Um, sporting rifle is our weapon, our only weapon, and we got clubs. Oh, that'll be fine. We will try. I want to see that more than I want to see the. Uh, that. Ah, perfect. Awesome. I will add crossbows to the list. Two. Well, let's go ahead and make this a default two then. A default rifle. And just in case. Two, two, two. Why are there only two people in my car? Could have sworn. I sent the wrong car out. Oh well. We'll take a peek. This uh, ski resort looks like a slum. Red Dawn Ganger. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. I can't close that door. Hmm. That's not good. Why can't I close that door? This just snaps out as fast, but it won't help against that, will it? Now, if you die, you'll fall on the pad. Also, how come these guys, because they wear t-shirts? 
Agent Aziz. I think we are going to have to abort this one because we only brought two guys. And I can't see who's shooting me over there. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, my friend. Did that even damage you? We are out. Miranda is down. We have a Red Dawn Pioneer. As much as I would like to capture you, my friend. Actually, I'm not going to do that because he might fall off the pad. Oh, I ended the turn. <laughs> Misclick. Misclick of doom. Alright, we're fine. We lost Miranda because of it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, you got the strike out of it. Alright, it wasn't a loss for Aziz. Oh, we gotta let the coat back. Well, that was my fault. Alright, we got some uh, deaths we need to recover. How are we doing? We have yeah, the new tribal and Miranda number two. Well, I guess that means we can go and do that horrible one up. Oh, 37 days, Aziz. At least we'll have four of you. We might be able to get a daylight one, though. Red Dawn Ganger. Gangers are the lowest ranking members of Red Dawn. While not particularly well trained, they have excellent reflexes, that they do, strength, and stamina, which upon further investigation proved to be due to artificial enhancement. In exchange for their services, gangers are promised physical might and a share of spoils of ore, whatever that is. Gangers generally operate in cities and are easy to mistake for common thugs, but they are usually supervised by more knowledgeable and better equipped Red Dawn members. Staff input, insane interruptions. Commander, I am here to file a formal complaint regarding my working conditions. First thing in the morning, I was awakened by that big oaf of a quartermaster who kept banging a hammer against some junk. Just after I dealt with him, the, pros the prosectorium started blasting heavy metal at full volume. I don't know what that is, which I wasn't, won't even comment on. And just as I returned from there and finally sat down to finish all the invoices, some poor bastard in the detention center started yelling like he was being skinned alive. Which, for all I know, may have been literal, so I had to deal with the redhead bitch too. And the bastard didn't even have anything useful to tell. Seriously, if you don't do something about all the ruckus, I promise you I will, and you will all suffer someday. XCOM summary report number one, Red Dawn Bioenhancement and Red Dawn Network. Excellent. We have more gangers to research. Quite a bit. I'm going to keep you on that. I think if we're lucky. Fences are OP. There is no doubt about that. Trying to blow up a fence. Or not blow one up. Oh, that might work out perfectly. Yeah, strange life form. If I ran Dogovich. Look at that firing accuracy. Upgrade you to that. Oh, these guys know what they're doing here. Agent York. What else can I give you? You got... Let me carry the big med kits. And... Dun, 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 dun. You know what? Just in case. No, I think you'll be good with that. Since we are doing... One of these...
close enough. And you get a pocket shotgun. One. Ah, werewolves. These guys are going to be fast, aren't they? Need. Excellent. Although, why didn't the first one trigger? Does it even damage werewolves? No, I didn't think so. Is there more than one werewolf? Because honestly, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna aim for that. All right, tell you what, Agent Incognito, congratulations, you have been selected to grapple a werewolf, and I will leave you there to cover his approach just in case. All right. Well, now he's going to become a werewolf. Oh, he can heal that guy. <laughs> so Francis York will turn into a werewolf. <laughs> All right, we're not going to heal that guy. That's not going to happen. But we're going to give Dogovich some bravery training. Oh, maybe we will. Hold on. I take that back. I take that back. All right, Ivan. You're medic today. On medic duty. Let us do a swamp around like that. Oh, there's a lot more than I thought there would be. Alright, well luckily... You guys are fast. Very, very fast. Also very, <laughs> very likely to bleed. One and two. Oh, that's a lot closer than I thought as well. Hey, excellent. Oh, look at that cross map shot that actually hit. Agent Ryan will have firing accuracy in no time. Alright, back to what we were doing before. No, we can't do that yet. Now, if we can take that guy out. Oh, they both bled out in the same turn. That is unfortunate. Let us assume that no more are coming, and we will let that one bleed out. Work for you guys? Works for me. Make sure he's bleeding. Make sure werewolves can actually take wounds. Yeah, he's bleeding. All right. We're good. I might actually just let let the subording rifle just pling him down. Odds of that killing him slumped it on, huh? Everyone else will. Keep an eye on the surroundings.
So expensive to pick things off the ground. <laughs> Just gets an America round. All right, just come, come over. Yeah, same guy. That's fine. Come this way. Either you bleed or you come over here and you get stunned. I'm not gonna make any other moves. <laughs> now this is a good reaction training weapon, guys. Let us, let us embrace this as reaction training. A little damage, half decent reaction accuracy, relatively cheap snapshots. Reaction training is four. He will bleed out sooner or later. There we go. That's how you do it. It's like how we captured the uh, the guild master with a single laser rifle. Yeah, excellent. Plus five reactions on Orion. That's what I want to see. More pump BS ammo. I thought I just bought ten or like thirty. All right, we got a commissar. Congratulations to whoever that is. Agent Orion. All right, training available. Three actions. I need to look at the, what the training cap is. Having the training caps in this in this description would be great, though. I'll actually update that and send that to Solar if he's interested. All right, and then we have a Galapagos. I'm gonna park this. I'm gonna park this charter flight. <laughs> this public flight right there. I guess we can say we're on a boat now, right? Is there even an airport on the Galapagos Islands? Can I rent a van on the island? Or am I just riding on the back of a big turtle? 71, excellent. 73, also excellent. All right. You need the special help. You get the fun shotgun. And I guess I'll upgrade you to one of those as well. Oh, look at those. Look at that. Carrying capacity. Oh, okay, cool. That is nice, actually. Always the gamble. Which side is the safe side to take cover on turn one? I'm gonna gamble inside this building. Those are always empty. I think those are generator rooms, what they're supposed to be. All right, those are never safe. That probably not safe either. That was a lot of doors. Oh, well, there's a door right there. Exalt. Ex hey, it's Exalt. Uh, do I want to try to take down a guy with an axe? I don't think I do, actually. <laughs> this was the last mission... Eight time units to close the door. Is that right? 
I did uh, in Pirates before Bug Hunt mode was added. I have fond memories of this map. I don't see any open doors over there. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> Can I just squeeze through there? No. Well, I didn't want to do it, but you made me. Got myself an axe out of it. I think this corner of the map is clean. <laughs> this one has the, oh, this building. Yeah, I hate that building. What are you going to do? Uh, luckily, there's only a handful of enemies on these maps, right? This is one where you just use AI cheat to your advantage. Uh, I don't think I'm going to clear out the rest of this. I don't see any of those doors open. I'm going to hop up here. Oh, the puns. The puns have started again. Did I open that? Uh, yeah, I must have. Alright, you got this nice rifle that can shoot long distances. Sort of cover this alley until we get people out here. I got excited when I saw that open door right away. All the ones are going to be over here and like the fourth floor in that room. Agent Nook, come and back up your buddy over here. Agent Fluffy. Nook and Fluffy. That sounds like a good uh, a cop buddy. Set of names right there. Ironically, Agent Fluffy would be the bad cop of the two. The tough cop. Takes no nonsense. While Nook spends his time in the squad car talking about a door fortress and trying to get his buddy to install it and play it one day. Until the one day where he finally does it. His agent says, I'm going to go home. Agent Fluffy says, I'm going to go home. Give this door fortress a shot. You've talked about it so much. And on that day, he dies in the line of fire. All cleared out. You got that taken care. I'm going to throw someone on the roof. A nook since he's... Actually, who was that? BT. Do we have any doors opening? We're just going to look for open doors before we go into anything. Ah, here's something. something back there. Nook, you have the shotgun. 
Agent Fluffy, back you up. Oh, there you are. A 45. All right, you got a snap if he comes around the corner. Your chance of taking it is very low, and you are out of range. So I'm just going to get out of sight. Good luck. Ah! Woo. I got you. I got you, buddy. I mostly got you. Is there one on the floor? There is not. We'll run you. We'll run you home. All right. The goal nook is not to pass out. Sitting there waiting. All right, well, that's two. <laughs> that's half the guys. Oh, they're moving. Oh, he's right there. All right. Run, Nook, run. You get close enough, we'll be able to save you there. I doubt you'll bleed out. If that does any damage <laughs> with that gun. All right, Cobalt, you have healing. Get Nook somewhere safe. Can you even make it there? No. Nook, you just stay where you are. Quaxton will shield you with his body. That guy is probably wounded, though. How I wish blood trails were a thing. Give him a stim. Give him one more stim. All right, Nook. Back on your feet. You'll be taking some stun damage, so give yourself some drugs. And we'll just be staying out of range. Good job, Quaxton. We gotta go hunt that guy. You know, the interesting thing with having such small amounts of enemies is how prevalent the enemy cheat mode will be, or how often that'll be active. Where was that? Ugh. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Ugh. Oh, come on, guys. You are driving me crazy here. All right, duck back in the fray. It's four guys. Are there stairs over here? All right, where the hell is BT? Faster to go up and over? Yes. Where are 
the stairs up. All right, you might come around this corner. Like such. Hunting rifle. That will hurt if it hits, so don't... Trigger that reaction fire. They look, yeah, they will be very nice. I have that damage versus range going for it. No one there. And he's going to bleed out. But I don't want to wait. Yay, good job, Quack 10 plus 10 bravery. Good strength. Eh, shooty accuracy. All right, now that means we have some more hunting rifle ammo. And two infiltrators. Prison cell limit exceeded. Abducted farmer. One, two, three, four, five, five. All right, that wasn't so bad. Anything else on the ground? A zombie infestation. Uh, well, if these ships get back in time. Oh, another zombie. I guess we're doing a zombie infestation. Maybe we'll land and look at it. A strange life form in the Arctic. Man, they love the Arctic. All right, that one was first. All right, so whoever is going to be in this group. My condolences to Sukalos, Otto, the Morbad, Obes, and Vanessa. Yeah, it sucks to be you guys. Ooh, an Enfield revolver. That's new. All right, we have pump action BS ammo. I think we have enough ammo. Oh, that one went down. All right, but they seem to be on the ground for a long time, so there's no reason to do that at night. Was that a strange life form? Yeah. Oh, we should buy more of those. That's right. One, two, three. All right. Uh, yours truly, Agent Fool, Agent Orange, and Elise Leroy. We are in the twos now. Yes, yeah, so we can afford some more real shotguns. Six. All right, and we will have you guys go out up here. Military anti-monster operation. Oh, I want to see that. Way more than I want to see a zombie infestation. The government has mobilized its armed force and is making a move against aberrant creatures. Our task is to assist them. To abort the mission, return XCOM operatives to the transport vehicle and click to abort mission. All right, Sukalos. I'm really proud with all of your accuracy, everyone. Grab one of these just in case, actually. Uh, 
Actually, at 72 melee, I'm going to leave that on you. Grab that instead. 30 melee. I should train your melee. <laughs> I should really focus on that. All right. Do you have enough strength for the double? Good enough. Ah, zombies. One and two. Oh, fat man. And, oh, that doesn't look so good. <laughs> that doesn't look good whatsoever. Two vampire knights. Oh, but I like that Bardiches, though. What do you think their uh, TUs are? Oh man! All right, a zombie that I don't really care about right now. See if I can. Uh, let's see if I can damage them. Let's see if I can hit them. <laughs> Where's the military? All right, there's military. <laughs> and we get a shot off at that unfortunately can they make it this far well that's all I want to know if they can if they can run from there to there and then swing that bardiche I'll run <laughs> I ask you right now <laughs> I got my shots off. Let me pour some coffee while I wait. I know you guys always tell me to get out, but that's that's my serious question right now. I got a couple more shots. Oh, this is zombie right there. Hello, friend. Have my sip. A little sip of coffee. All right. With that zombie right there, I'm gonna get out anyways. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Twenty-two civilians. I should not get a negative score when uh, hostile militaries die. Oh, that goes all my points from the other missions. I wish I could turn you around. Alright, we got more shotguns though, so we'll put real shotguns in all the crafts. And I think we can do that one in the daylight too. So it is spring in the Arctic. Yeah, that made up my abducted farmer missions. Sort of made it a wash with that one. Let's wait. Oh, I think that might always be like in dusk. All right, as long as these aren't uh, Morgans or whatever they're called, we'll be fine. 48, you need that. Oops, take that. Close enough. Tasers are really heavy, aren't they? Alright, what are we facing? Oh, it's these guys again. The Mongorns. These guys are brutal.
But I think we can kill them now. A little far away. I got some cover if you come that way. Agent Fool. Make sure there's no one there. Magnums! One, two, oh, hello. Grenades when? Right inside snap range. No damage. Oh, it does damage. Which I will take because I need the training anyways. Leave you for reaction fire. Not bleeding. One of you bleeding? You're bleeding. Oh, that was close, but put you right into my trap. <laughs> Hit it with a stick. Oh, shit, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed in myself. You are not bleeding. There you go. Hey, <laughs> shot like how's it going? <laughs> I think we haven't figured out the schedule, but we might we might wind up doing Mondays and Thursdays XCOM files and Tuesdays and Fridays being uh, Darkest Dungeon. Uh, let's get one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you are you were recruited today, so I think I don't think your soldier died yet. Oh, there's another one. One, two. Oh, he's far enough away. Excellent, in case this one bleeds out. And you know what? Oh, never mind. We see another one. I was going to say, you can go ahead and heal that guy up. Oh, that is true. I love Nook. I know. Because he only does Monday and Tuesday as well. I fully understand that reason. This is working out nicely. Let us go ahead and get some bravery training. You just stand out there, Agent Fool. I was going to say it like a fool. That'll work for me. Alright, so even with... Oh, you. Lay down. Alright, before we move, this guy might stand up. Alright, he did not. Oh, that's right, because it's Dwarf Fortress on Mondays. I am, you know, I'm okay with working around Nook. I have no problem with that. I do wind up watching all the stuff on YouTube anyway, so. 42. Too far. That's a pretty harsh penalty, isn't it? Yeah. I did send Nook the instructions for how to install OpenAPOC. So hopefully he'll get back into that. His APOC series was definitely one of my favorites he's ever done. Yes. Come closer. Oh, not the last one. 
color me slightly surprised. Down there. The one place wasn't looking. Maybe up here. Alright, you can make that shot. That's all that matters. I'm gonna make sure that guy stays down. Give you a little love tap. Did I shoot my buddy in the head? I think I might have. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Make sure those two stay asleep. Come around. There you go. Well, that is an expensive reload. No line of fire. If you come closer, I'll have one. I didn't even see if they were still asleep. Yeah, all right, they're still asleep. <laughs> Those weren't even anywhere close, fool. Impressively off, off target. Wow, this guy is actually taking a hint. still. How about from here? Just enough for an aim shot. Excellent. Three live Mongorns. Oh, two. Excellent stats, everyone. Well, plus five. Alright. Gonna have to sell some of that, aren't I? Oh, no, because they're animals. Yeah, we're gonna have to clean that out. All right, crew. What time is it? Three o'clock. All right, we're going to have to do a... S no, I'll let you guys go again because we bugged out of that mission real fast. But we will update this. All right, goodbye. Uh, I'm going to keep pocket shotguns. Just in case, because they are pocket shotguns. But we will have a full complement of real shotguns. With requisite ammo. I'll sell the pumps. And you guys can make your way over here. And we only have the strange life form on the ground. Red Dawn Ganger. Staff input, wisdom, and insight. Commander, I have witnessed the interrogation of our recent captive. We didn't get much out of them, but I think I've understood something important about life. There is no such thing as a free beating. <laughs> it's Right now, that one grenade is the equivalent of our holy hand grenade. Alright, uh, do we have any more red dawns? Because I need to clear out the... I need to clear out the cells. So let's get the farmers out of there. Hopefully they're fast. This Mega Scorpion and Corpse are taking forever. Oh, no, I forgot to do our March backup. I keep forgetting about our backups. March 1997. All right, we have uh, 15 minutes. Looks like that'll be a full cycle. 
The zombie corpse. This creature was definitely human once, but its central nervous system was overtaken by a parasite of unknown origin. The parasite is pea-sized, with very long appendages that reach into various organs. It seems unrelated to any known modern or ancient organisms. Its effect on the host's body is a complete override of basic metabolism, giving a great resilience and immunity to pain, but at the cost of imminent death. Hey, Nook, how's it going? Thank you for the host. Alright. Let's get the Kludge, because that sounds great. <laughs> Actually, let's get the agricultural flamer, uh, because Ivan doesn't have a weapon <laughs> that he could, he feels comfortable using. And we'll do this strange life form. Alright, Sukalos, Otto. I love this crew already. Have everyone a real med pack. You get a fake med pack because you're weak. Otto gets a real med pack. What do we got? Chupacabras. Oh man, did I ever hate these? Look at that accuracy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Best mission ever. And look at that. Plus four strength, plus three accuracy. Aliens. Sukulos. MVP. Alright. Well, that is a good place to stop. <laughs> so we will we will end the stream right there. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, as I said earlier, no stream tomorrow. We'll be back on Thursday for Darkest Dungeon. If you look down on the page, I'm going to start trying to use the Twitch events, which will uh, give you uh, not only the schedule in your time zone, but also you'll see what game I have planned ahead. So this week it'll be Thursday and Friday will be Darkest Dungeon. And then we will try maybe Monday and Wednesday, Thursday, XCOM next week. And we'll do Tuesday, Friday, Darkest Dungeon. So I, wanted, I want three XCOM to something else for the time being. And yes, X, the XCOM will be back on Monday. So for those of you who are all here for XCOM, which is pretty much everyone I know, Monday. All right, guys. Thanks again, and I will catch you later. Okay.